Teenagers, get ready for your curfew. Two local malls are now setting limits. It's one of the top stories on the Channel 3 app today. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live at the Buckland Hills Mall in Manchester with more on this new rule. Mike? Well, Denise and Dennis, we talked to some of the shoppers here at Buckland Hills Mall this afternoon, and they all agreed that this curfew makes sense. I was actually here last year when the um, huge fight broke out, so like I definitely understand why. They Jalissa Evans of Bloomfield was at Buckland Hills Mall in Manchester last December when this massive brawl broke out. So Evans says she understands why mall management announced a new curfew for the holiday season this year. Brass Mill Mall in Waterbury is also owned by the same company and will have the same curfew. Starting Black Friday, anyone under the age of 18 will need supervision after 5 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. After Christmas, it's every day starting at 1 p.m. Buckland Mall manager Virginia Pepe said in an effort to eliminate disruptive behavior by unsupervised youth and create a family-friendly atmosphere, we made the decision to implement a curfew program for the holiday season. Last year's brawl included upwards of 300 people and resulted in four arrests. The mall also made headlines after a 2016 fight. Every year we yeah, come to the mall and it happens, so it's like you could predict that it's going to happen again this year. Shoppers were supportive, but they had mixed feelings on whether they sympathize with teenagers. I could see how that could be like a little aggravating because like I'd want to be dropped off here like if I was that age. So like I could see that. Yeah, there's other places to go have fun though. You don't have to come to the mall. Yeah. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. And this, this, and this policy did get support from the manager, uh, the town manager and the uh, chief of police here in Manchester. Reporting live from Manchester, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.